Hello, everyone, and welcome to day 10 of 10 back to school tips for LGBTQ plus inclusion. I'm Lisa Kay, your everyday gay, wearing my human t-shirt. What I've done in the last 10 days is to give you in two minutes or less 10 tips for LGBTQ plus inclusion. So one thing that you can do is you can have I'm a safe person. That can be a sign that you have right there. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can ask me any questions that you want to. If you missed the 10 days, here's a compilation of all of them. So let's go to day number 10, greetings. Rather than saying good morning, boys and girls, or hello, ladies and gentlemen, let's just say hello, everyone. For those of you who are world language teachers, whatever language it is, Spanish, French, Latin, German, whatever it might be, American Sign Language. That is a greeting. Just greet everyone the way that, that they are to make a welcoming environment. So that is, that was tip, that was day one, tip number 10. Tip nine, this was on day two, was talking about pronouns. So we don't say preferred pronouns anymore. It's just pronouns. Yep things change. So again, in my human t-shirt, there are lots of representations there. So if you are an educator, school bus driver, food service worker, whatever it might be, or maybe you're at the college level. Hello, my pronouns are she, her. I'm Lisa K, your everyday gay. You can put them in your Zoom window. You can put them in your email signature. One thing that I will say to those of you who are educators is check with your policies. I don't want you to get in trouble for being a super inclusive teacher, um, but just, just know that three out of 10 of us know someone who is transgender and the next generation, I'm a Gen Xer, those younger than us, that a lot of them are gonna be coming out as gender non-conforming, non-binary, queer questioning, whatever it might be. So um, the Transgender Center um, for, oh jeepers creepers, I, I talk about that one later. So there is a good resource for gender pronouns right there. My apologies. So let's go to what was number eight. And this is free. This is wonderful. Thank you, Gender Spectrum, for doing all of this work. You can implement in your space a gender support plan as well as a gender communication plan. And I've given you a picture, it's fillable. It's a fillable PDF that's free. Think of it as kind of a 50 course for our friends who might need this, um, regardless of their identity. So this is something that you should have at your fingertips, especially school counselors, social workers, um, people service people. I'm talking to you. This is a great thing for you to have. And again, it's free. Go to genderspectrum.org. There are even videos on how to implement these things. So that is a wonderful thing for you to have. Tip number seven, talking about transgender students and queer youth of color. And again, so the trans student um, educational resource, I think that's what it is, gives us the gender unicorn. And if you are still using the gender bred person, just know that they've updated it to a gender unicorn. I'm not saying that you have to have a gender unicorn poster in your space. It's just something to know that will help you, maybe to help the adults educate them on what the youth are thinking about. And again, there are queer youth of color who are coming out. And unfortunately, a number of them are homeless and a number of them are seeking resources. So GLSEN gives you lots of resources across the spectrum that will help you to understand different cultures and how maybe you can support those LGBT Q students of color. Number six, hello elementary friends out there. Never too early to start talking about this. Again, research says that kids know between ages three and five how they're going to identify. And usually by age seven, they might be expressing. So welcoming schools is your resource. Lots and lots of free free, I said, free lessons for you. How to talk about this? What do I say? When is it too early? This is from the Human Rights Campaign. So Welcoming Schools is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. They have books, they have resources, they have videos. So check out welcomingschools.org for all of you in the elementary space. 
Number five, we talk about sports here, not just sports like um, competitive sports, but physical education classes. Sometimes this is when I was a school counselor, I would see a lot of students during this space because they didn't want to change. So in Changing the Game, GLSEN, the Gay Lesbian Straight Education Network is giving you a plethora of resources on how to be more inclusive. Please, 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 physical education teachers do not put your classes into boys and girls. Maybe it's school colors. Maybe it is count off by number, whatever it is. But this is a space that you can be safe. And if you are a sports coach or you know a sports coach and they're not being inclusive, just know that Title IX, which we'll talk about in a little bit, the law is on the student's side. Number four, starting a GSA in your school. Uh, back when I was a middle school counselor, they were called Gay Straight Alliances. Now they're called Gender Spectrum Alliances. They might be called lots of different things, just as long as it's inclusionary. That's what it's all about. So the GSA network, is out there as a resource. And notice what I made really big. I am from Wisconsin. So GSAFE, the Gay Straight Alliance for Safe Schools in Wisconsin is a wonderful resource. Even if you're not in Wisconsin, they have lots and lots of things that you can take a look at for resources, know the law, how to start a GSA, et cetera. Number three, restrooms and locker rooms. Again, a student does not have to show any proof to you administrators out there of using a restroom or a locker room that identifies with the gender they identify with, if that makes any sense. So I've given you different examples here of locker rooms, all gender restrooms, gender neutral, whatever it might be. So this is something to think about because the law is on their side. Number two, Title IX and the law. That's what we're talking about, okay? Title IX gives students and adults that's what the yellow picture of mix is down there too. It might be an honorific for maybe um, a teacher, an adult in your building, rather than using um, the commonplace ones that are also listed there, Ms., Mr., Mrs. Mix is something that you're gonna be seeing more of. And it might be the adults at home who are using this. So just know the law, which is Title IX. Number one, look at all these resources that I've given you, a lot of free things for you. One of the resource, two resources that I'd also like to talk about that aren't here, one is the Trevor Project. So if you have watched this and a student still is contemplating um, suicide, please call the Trevor Project 100%. They will be there to help you with that. We don't want students to take their lives and you could be that one adult who helps save them. The other one is PFLAG, Parents and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, whatever, wherever you are, there are family members out there who can help you educate or maybe you're brand new at this. Maybe this is the first time someone has come out to you. Lots and lots of resources for you. And finally, I am also a resource for you. This is what it's all about. Let's save lives together. Share this. This could be a staff meeting if you want it to be. Um, it's free. Go ahead. Use this. I, I implore you to do that. Show your school board members. Show your PTA, PTO, whatever it is, families. Please, please, please educate people that there are resources out there. Check your policies for LGBTQ plus inclusion. You should have um, people non-discrimination policies enumerate out gender non-conforming, gender expression, and it could be um, identity, LGBT status, whatever it is. There are lots that are out there. You, my friends, watching this could be the one person to save a life for those students. Another thing, these are just my two quick asks. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to not just have my family and friends there. I'd love to share the wealth. I do videos for you. I'm going to be doing more. And if you want to, this would be wonderful as well. Purchase be an inclusion ally, the ABCs of LGBTQ plus for your space. That's the book up there. It is an Amazon bestseller. I'm very, very proud of it. And I walk you through. Here are the ABCs and lots and lots of resources. My friends, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. And again, I'm Lisa Kay, your everyday gay. Have a great day. Okay.